Hey everybody and welcome back to the third video in a three-part series about Guardian Alarms. In this third video, I'm going to be showing how to use and install the Guardian Alarms Catalytic Converter Alarm. Nobody likes to get their catalytic converter stolen because those suckers are expensive. On the right side of your screen, you're going to see some timestamps, so you can go to specific parts of the video if you want to skip around a little bit. And as an added bonus, in this third video, I'm going to show that uh, interview with Justin again. Uh, he's the owner of the small business here in Charleston, South Carolina, which is awesome because when you need customer service or tech support, you're going to get someone right here in South Carolina. So here we go. Does this look right? Ow! Where did I put my screws? I'm not sure this is how it's supposed to go. Now let's see what we got in the box. All right, get her open here. We got some uh, instructions, which are in English, which is always nice. And down here at the bottom, uh, we have his local 843 Charleston number and uh, his email address, help at guardian-secure.com. And there's his website there if you want to purchase one of those, guardiansecure.com. We've got a remote. We've got a cute little screwdriver. I wonder what that's for. Uh, protected by Guardian, so if you want to slap this on the side of your ride, and the unit itself. And when I'm looking at the unit here, I think I see what the screwdriver is for. There's a little tiny screw right here. Probably to take the cover off uh, for the batteries that are inside. Uh, this uses three AAA batteries, I'm told. Uh, so let's crack it open and see what we've got. And there we go. It uh, looks like it's got some sort of a, an orange seal going around the edge here. And we've got a little foil sticker there, probably to some with the speaker. And three AAA batteries. So let's go ahead and put this thing back together. and get our screw back in. So for arming and disarming, we're going to uh, press this button. Wow, that is loud. And there you go, it is now armed. Uh, wow, that that is crazy loud. All right. So if we want to change the volume on that to tone that down a little bit so my neighbors don't complain too much. We're going to press and hold the unlock button. Wow. wow, that thing is crazy loud. And there's our blue light. Now we're going to touch this bell button down here at the bottom. Oh man, that thing wasn't even on high. There's medium. There's low. Wow, neighbors are going to be complaining about that one. And if you want to change the sensitivity for it, you can press and hold the unlock button for three seconds. And there's your blue light again around the arm button. And that low is going to be the highest sensitivity. and that highest tone is going to be your least sensitive. And now we're back to the most sensitive there. It also has a find me feature. Uh, so if you ever lose your car in the parking lot, just need to know where it is. You just press this bottom bell icon and you get a nice little honky sound. If you want to change that, you can press the lightning button, which is your programming key. There's your honk. Nice little chirpy chirpy. And a single beep. Okay. Wow, that thing is loud. Uh, so yeah, I like the chirpy chirpy. Nice little part about that uh, chirpy chirpy is it'll tell you uh, when your batteries are dead. So if you hit the chirpy chirpy button and uh, it doesn't go off anymore, you may want to go ahead and pop that cover off, replace those three batteries, and you'll be ready to go again. And with my interview that I had with uh, Justin, he gave me this flyer here with uh, 
a $10 off promo code using GuardU on his uh, website, guardian-secure.com. Uh, you can also purchase these on uh, Amazon and Walmart.com. Okay, so I've had my catalytic converter on the uh, exhaust system for about five days now, and it seems to be doing just fine. And I want to demonstrate just how sensitive this is. Any little vibration or tap is enough to set it off. And one more time. Just a little tap. And now to show you where it is that I installed mine. I put mine right up here on top of the muffler. Oh, hang on, let me see if I can even reach it. It is tucked right behind here. And that magnet is really strong. And there it is. It's been sitting right here for about the last five days, getting driven around. No problems whatsoever. Everybody, I'm here at Charlestown Landing uh, with Guardian Alarms, uh, Justin, yep. uh, and he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, golf cart alarms, catalytic converter alarms, trailer alarms. If you can put a, an alarm on it, uh, he'll figure out a way. So, Justin, what can you tell us about the, uh, the Guardian Alarms? Sure. Um, we, uh, we set out to make an easy and simple alarm that's a self-contained unit, um, in some cases rechargeable for catalytic converters, trailers, as well as golf carts. Um, our goal is to try and make it simple, easy to use, and the biggest thing is that it's very easy to install, so you're not having to do a lot of wiring or anything like that. Awesome, because that Viper alarm I have, it does, it, it, there's a lot of wires to connect on it, and it's quite complicated, and d depending on what vehicle you have, uh, those wires are never the same. Yeah, the, these are very universal. They should work in anything that you have. Um, they're very basic. Uh, our, our golf cart alarm has a magnet on it, and it's as simple as just sticking a magnet on underneath your golf cart. Um, if you can put a magnet on your refrigerator, you can wire up your golf cart. It's self-contained, so there's no wiring that goes to the batteries. Rechargeable, so you can actually take it inside, recharge it, put it back when it's charged back up. And your average golf cart alarm will run anywhere between three to six months before it needs to be recharged, all depending upon how often you're using it, as well as some of the weather conditions that you might be in. Um, batteries will have a tendency to kind of wear down a little bit if it's colder outside. Of course, and with the being a modular unit, I could put two of them on my cart if I wanted to, right? You could. You could put two, you could put three, you could put four. Um, the great thing about our alarms is that the remotes are actually programmable. Um, so you could have one remote that activates three or four alarms. And they also go not only to the golf cart alarms, but also the catalytic converters and the trailer alarms. So you could have one remote that activates everything in your rig. That you could actually protect your catalytic converter, your trailer, as well as the golf cart that you're hauling. So that's a great asset, a great part to what we do. Awesome. So what can you show us about, uh, say, the golf cart alarm? Sure. Um, golf cart alarm is a very simple unit, self-contained, like I said very small electronics. It's in an aluminum kind of protected casing. On the back you have a very strong magnet. This is a 34 pound magnet. Um, so it's not like what you see on your refrigerator. It'll stick to your golf cart very well so if you're doing some rugging, rugged maybe trail riding or you hit some bumps it's not going to fall off. It actually takes quite a bit to take it off. Good to know. Um, charging this guy is very simple. It's got a USB port right here on the side plug that in. I charged this one today. I think it only took about three hours to fully charge it and that's from dead. So not long to get it charged. It's ready to go and like I said anywhere between three to six months is the life that you're looking on this unit before you need to recharge it again. Um, but very simple. You can take it. I like to tell people all carts are different. Um, you got to find kind of the sweet spot on your cart um, where you're going to find the most vibration if someone were to try to get into the cart or take it and um, that's usually underneath, and this is you know the passenger side, but imagine if this was the driver's side. Underneath here, where the frame is, and then up against the body. Um, so that gets it so that there's receiving vibration from the top, as well as any kind of vibration that might be in the actual frame itself. Usually the best place, but I tell people, you know, that's gonna be different depending upon your cart. You may need to kind of 
find a little bit different place. And it also depends on how easy it is to get to when it's time to go ahead and charge that. But for most part, underneath on the frame up against the body is the best place to put it. Cool. One of the things that we made sure that we did with our products is nowadays you buy things, if you have an issue, it's so hard to get to a human being. Um, yeah, there might be an email address and you might not get a response, or yeah, there's a phone number that you can call, but you get a recording, or in, in some cases you get someone that doesn't know anything. All of our units have a phone number directly to us. There's also an email address directly to us, so you're not gonna talk to somebody that's in a, a, a answering service or anything like that. You're gonna talk to me or someone else from our business and we can walk you through things. One of our biggest things is making sure that our customers are not only happy with their product, but they're proud of it. Um, I don't want it to just work, I want it to also be something that you're proud of, that you're happy that you purchased. So we're really, really big on customer service and making sure that things are going the way that you want them to. Um, talk to people, they just haven't been happy with it, it didn't work the way they thought it would, we refund them 100%. Cool. Um, we, we don't want you to have something that you're not gonna be able to use, don't even have to send it back to us sometimes, depending upon where you are, we'll get you your money back. So we're very big on customer service and making sure people are happy with the products that we're providing. Awesome. Mm -hmm.